for those of you who like this whole Texas Hold'em thing, is it just me, or have you noticed that some of these fuckers take the game a little too seriously? Like, when they lose a hand, they go fucking nuts. You know, like eating the cards and chips and putting cigarettes out on their arm type nuts. What the fuck is wrong with these people? These card-counting cum catchers go ballistic each time they lose a fucking hand because they've invested so much time and effort in trying to master the game that they completely overlook the random dumb luck that people get and take it personally when the cards don't fall in their favor. What's worse is they take it out on the people who beat them. They toss chairs and drinks around the casino screaming, Who the fuck plays a two and a four? These people need to realize that they're not going to win every hand. That's life. Now you got the other type of people, the pseudo-pro people, the type of people who TiVo the entire season of celebrity poker and do their own commentary while examining and re-examining every move made. They buy those idiotic mirrored sunglasses and don a stone-cold expression so you can't pick up on any of their tells and try their hardest to present themselves as the one to look out for. Whatever happened to just having fun and playing the game, huh? These fucking poker people take the game way too seriously, as if their own worth and purpose in life is based on the amount of chips they have on the table. Give me a break. Another group of schmucky scrotum suckers are the idiotic deck wavers. And I call them deck wavers because all they do is wave their decks around. They play every hand, never fold for fear of being seen as weak, and every time someone calls them, they gotta go all in to try to prove how manly they are and scare everyone else away. It's deck waving, folks, pure and simple. Now, on the other side of the coin, you got the newbies. The poker plebes that have never picked up a deck of cards in their entire life. And now, because of pure ignorance, they have to ask you and everyone else the same seven questions every seven minutes and constantly want to know what hand beats what. This, th this is fucking annoying. But what's worse? But what's worse than that? The worst person of all is the time-taking decision maker. The player who needlessly has to mull over his or her hand for 20 minutes before they make a bet. Or fold. Hmm, should I play this three and six or fold? Well, they are suited and I could get a flush or a straight. Hmm, but I could lose. What should I do? Just make a fucking decision, you spastic bastard. No one wants to sit at the table idle, watching some halfwit procrastinate and making an obvious decision. Make a choice. Lastly, the virtual poker champ. Now here's an annoying character that always has a virtual story to tell you about the virtual hand he had at the virtual table where his virtual poker pals play and loves to brag about his virtual pot earnings. I don't give a virtual shit. Shut up. If you're not winning real money, it's fucking pointless. Whatever. I just play solitaire now. I can't deal with all this deck-waving nonsense. Oh, see? Poker humor. I can't deal with this. Ah, that's funny. Laugh. Laugh. <laughs> Whatever.